Well, hello again. Here we go. Superhero Day, Superman. We may actually be getting a um, we may be getting a special appearance by another superhero here in just a moment. So uh, she actually. I'm sorry. This her. I will be the superhero. She's gonna be the superhero. She want to let Still everybody. Is. Still, uh, yeah. In case you didn't know who that was, we even actually have Fred wearing his. Uh, his Avengers bandana. So we all went on superhero. So anyway, today we'll be reading Do Unto Otters. Um, let's see. Uh, the, the test number, unfortunately I don't have it near me, but it is in the bottom in the description. So if you scroll on down, you'll see it. I put the test number in there. It's like one, two, two, something. Uh, but there's our AR test number. So this is once again, an AR book. I, I keep thinking about this. Uh, I've with all the books that I've read, including the Junie B. Jones book, which that kind of lasts a little while. I have read. Uh, I've, if you took a test on one of those, you would probably have about five, six, seven extra points now. So once again, like I said, we would overrun Gaddy Town with all the points that people could be getting right now. So, and to the other people that are hopefully joining us or who will watch this uh, after it's been recorded from uh, across Union County and across the this region that we live in in Kentucky, across Kentucky, uh, across the country, hopefully, because I, I really would love these to go out to uh, other people. Um, I know I've got friends in everywhere from San Diego, California. Uh, I've got some friends in Montana. I've got some friends all the way to the East Coast in Connecticut. Just like I want these to kind of go everywhere and just have fun with this. And it looks like we're all, it's kind of weird that we're all going through the same thing. So you know, shelter in place in some places. So, but anyway, that being said, today I'm going to read Do Unto Otters, a book about manners by Lori Keller. I might scoot a little bit closer so I can try and show the pictures as I'm reading this. So, that being said, I might get a close up of my face. Sorry, it's not any prettier. Man, look at all that gray. Sorry. Oh, let's see. Uh oh, looks like we who do have a superhero here. No, I'm just looking for a mask. Oh, she's looking for a mask. Sorry, I thought it, it might be over that way in your toys. So, or check check the other bedroom. Okay, now back to this. Do it to otters. Let's do it, otters, and we're going. I don't to see you. Better. You're surprised. Okay, Stella, back up, back up. Come on, Stella. So I can read the book. Book about manners by Lori Keller. Dad, Dad, use this. Wait, shh. Here we go. Got our little bunnies. Do de do de do de do de do de do de do. Just hopping around, just having a good time. Do de do de do de donk. There's Mr. Rabbit's house. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. We're your new neighbors, the otters. Otters? Otters? My new neighbors are otters? Ah! I don't think you must be excited. I don't know anything about otters. What if we don't get along? Pesky otters. Lousy rabbit. Look at him. Just that's what he's thinking about them saying. Like, he doesn't know if they can get along. Mr. Rabbit, I know an old saying. Do unto otters as you would have otters do unto you. What does that mean? It simply means treat otters the same way you'd like otters to treat you. Treat otters the same way I'd like otters to treat me? Hmm. How would you like otters to treat me? Or how would I like otters to treat me? How would I like otters? To treat me. Pondering these tough questions. Well, I'd like otters to be friendly. Give a cheerful hello. A nice smile. And good eye contact. Are all parts of being friendly. Friendliness is very important to me. Especially after my last neighbor... Mr. Grrr, or Miss Mrs. Grrr. I don't think she looks too friendly. 
<laughs> since she was voted the meanest neighbor six years in a row. I'd like otters to be polite. They should know when to say, please, please look over here. You, Mr. Rabbit, would you please return my ball there? Pretty, pretty, please, with carrots on top. Would you like me to stop stinging you? Yes, please. <laughs> carrots. I can say please in five languages. In Spanish, we've got por favor. In French, we've got s'il vous plaît. In German, we've got bitte. Uh, in Japanese, we've got kudasai. And in Pig Latin, we've got ease play. Say the magic word, and I'll turn these clams into a million dollars. Magic word rhymes with... The magic word, by the way, rhymes with cheese. Oh, and they should also, or they should know when to say thank you. Thanks for looking. It says, would you like me to sting you now? No, thank you, said the otter. That's what... Um, then please take my business card and call me when you're ready. That's, I wish bees were that polite. Uh, looks like we've got a little otter here's written a note. It says, uh, Dear Mr. Rabbit, thank you very much for returning my ball. You must have returned a lot of balls before because you made it look so easy. Balls sure are bouncy and rolly, but I'll try to keep it under control next time. Sincerely, looks like Mr. Otter. And there's like a squirrel and a birdie and a oh, nice beak. Thanks. So, and then here's the otter. I can say thank you in five languages. In Spanish, we've got gracias. In French, we've got merci. In German, we've got dankeschön. Um, in Japanese, we've got regato. And once again, in our favorite language of pig Latin, we've got enkthe ouye. Uh, did you say please or... Cheese. I'm thinking he said please, not the cheese. And they should know when to say, excuse me. Oh, excuse me? Burp. Well, you definitely say excuse me after you burp. Here's the otter bouncing that ball again. Oh, excuse me. Oh, here's that otter with that bee. Oh, Miss Otter. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Bee. I, I need to run and check on something. Uh, then here we go. Here's the otter saying, I can say excuse me in five languages. And we've got, uh, unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish. So, uh, Dispensesame. Uh, and then we've got uh, Pardonnez-moi in French. Uh, in German, we've got another way of saying it, if you can say that. There we go. And, uh, and then in Pig Latin, we've got excuse way e -may. Said, hmm, it worked in rehearsal. <laughs> Said, excuse me for interrupting or reading, but I heard you say, please not cheese. Well, I need to brush up on my German because I can't say that. Here's something else that would be nice. Otters should be honest. That means they should keep their promises. My word is as good as gold, fish. I like that. They should not lie. I never lie. It makes my whiskers itch. And they should not cheat. Cheating makes my whiskers itch, too. I wonder if I should see a doctor. Well, if you've got itchy whiskers, that is probably a sign that you need to see a doctor for some sort. Uh, let's see. Governor Bashir has not set up a hotline for itchy whiskers yet, though. Yeah. Oh, and I'd like otters to be considerate. Well, here's what considerate is. You know, being a good listener... Asking before borrowing something, not littering, being patient, caring for all creatures, big and small, opening the door for someone, being on time, respecting the elderly, and helping neighbors uh, untangle their ears. Well, that's that's always considerate. Uh, I've always uh, it's always good to have a considerate neighbor, and I think now more than ever that's when we should really be more considerate because that's really what this whole staying home thing is about. We're being considerate. We're considerate of the, as they've been 
you've been told, the vulnerable populations, those that, that could get sick from this. This might not really hurt us or get us that sick. We might just have a minor little cold or something that feels like that. But for others, we should be considered. Otters should learn to cooperate. Did somebody say operate? No, no, no. We didn't say operate. We said cooperate. Cooperate. To work well together. We know how to cooperate. Yeah, there we go. There's our puns. This might be why I like this book so much, because it's full of puns. Let's see. I see otters like to play. I hope they know how to play fair. Otters rules for fair play. Be a good sport. Play by the rules. Take turns. Include everyone, even the bees. And see, they're, they are playing, just having a good time. I'd like it if we could share things. Our favorite books. <laughs> There's Harry Otter. But um, it's funny. Goldilocks and the Three Hairs. But um, again, our favorite activities. Otter totter. Go fish. Okay. Oh, there's. He's trying to play cards. He says go fish, and then the otter just jumps in the water. And our favorite treats. Hmm. Maybe not treats because it looks like otters like fish with ice cream treats, which that sounds pretty much disgusting. And rabbits like carrot pizza. Interesting. So I hope otters won't tease me about uh, about my doody doo song, my extra long swim fins, and my bad hair days. But I'm, shh, you know he's a rabbit. He's a hare. So bad hair days happen all the time. I hope otters won't tease anyone about anything. Teasing is mean. It's the worst. It's worse than having a clam snap shut on your nose. I think otters should apologize when they do something wrong. I'm sorry I used your ear as a tissue. Okay, that's disgusting. I guess nobody really wants otter boogers on their ears. And I hope they could be forgiving when I do something wrong. So when the rabbit does something wrong, he wants them to be forgiving. I'm sorry I called you snotter. <laughs> oh, you. Snotter the otter. But that's why you don't use his ears as a tissue, small peoples. Or otters. So there. That's how I'd like otters to treat me. You see, Mr. Rabbit, I told you it was simple. Right. Just do de do unto otters as you would have otters do de do unto you. The end. Well, I hope you like this book. This is a great book for what we're going through right now. Be considerate. Be kind. One second. So be considerate. Be kind. And just be helpful. Say please. Say thank you. Show your parents that you can say please and thank you. Show them all the things that you show us at school and you show your teachers at school if you're not from us. Now, we have an appearance by it's not, it's our unmasked person. Those students that know me and have known me for years know that one of my favorite cartoons is from, it is from, I can actually kind of play a second of it. It is from Disney Junior. And in just a moment, I'm going to play, we'll say back, say back still, I'm going to play, or the other person, I'm going to play their her theme song. Just hold on one second. If I can type right, here we go. When I play this theme song, she's going to walk in. Ready? Now, I'm not... That's okay. Well, see it on up. Well, she can't find her mask, but we do have here with us. Come on in. She's trying to find you. Yeah. Stella, come on. Otherwise, they're going to be. They're going to leave us soon. Here we go. Show them your wings. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. And she's got her wings on. She's a superhero. She's super allies. I used to say to my class two years ago, I say, I would say, super gecko muscles, super allies. And they would look at me. So anyway, so Alec, can you please tell everyone to have a wonderful day, stay safe, and be looking for our And watch for our commercial we're going to be making, right? We're going to make a silly commercial.
-hmm. Okay. So have a nice evening. Bye, everyone. Bye.